Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, this is going to be a general end love reading because you guys were so awesome with your views last month. Um, so this is going to be your love in general for November 1st through the 15th. We are officially in Scorpio season. So let's see how that's going for you guys. And I also want to just say for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. Um, I am clairaudient. I am clairvoyant. So if you want to book a personal reading, go ahead and look at the information below. All my information is there. For those of you who are continuing to my channel, thank you so much per usual. I hope you enjoy this reading and let me know. Comment below and let's get going. So what's going on in general for my Libras? Hmm. I'm hearing, uh, uh, excuse me, conflict resolution. So some of you guys have some conflicting ideas with the people around you starting November 1st through the 15th. I feel like there has been a slow ramp up with people in your environment of frustration and hostility. And I feel like you're gonna, it's like, it's almost like you've had enough the beginning of November and Scorpio season is fueling that it's like you know Mars energy it's about you know just kind of pushing into that aggression and needing to express yourself but Libra I feel like this energy about you know this conflict that you're facing in the beginning of the month in your work environment or even with the people around you is so symbolic of your need to evolve from where you come from this job, you've been at the stop for a really long time and I feel like you have reached the end of the line is what I'm hearing. And this has been a position for you that you love. You love doing what you do. I do see people enjoying you. Like they really appreciate you like in your inner circle. I do see a strong um, energy around appreciation. However, the little bits and pieces here of conflict that you're facing, you are seeing that it's time for a change and you're being gently pushed out and it's not by people but it's by the universe like the universe is trying to get you to move out of being so comfortable so you can start changing something in your life so you can start evolving and moving into your soul purpose or your, your uh, soul mission okay so some of you guys are really going to shift gears to become a director or you're managing or there's something that you are leading in the beginning of November, okay? You're going to take on a role as a leader. Um, and I feel like you're going to be offered a position here that you're afraid to take, Libra. You're afraid to take this position because it's new, it's unfamiliar, it requires you to stand in your power. Some of you guys are very anxious. I'm channeling anxious energy surrounding a home. So maybe there, there are changes in your home environment as well because I'm getting an anxiety around the people that you live or your home environment. Like it's very noisy. Like you feel like you never get peace and quiet. Like you feel um, restless or you're feeling a bit fed up. Some of you guys are tired of a Capricorn Taurus Virgo is what I'm hearing. Okay. You definitely want a new beginning. And I feel like everything's coming full circle. Everything is going to annoy you so it could push you forward, okay? You are going to network with the right people. And I feel like it's time to really follow your heart. You're going to move into a new space where you're following your heart. Some of you guys are going to decide to move. You're moving abroad. You're moving somewhere far away from family. You're definitely making some sick, uh, excuse me sacrifices for the better uh to you know just change your overall energy you want to move away you're gonna definitely take that leap of faith um however i do feel like you're trying to make changes at a very rapid rate but i don't want you to forget about this shadow work that needs to be done down here okay so there is something you're waiting for here um libra and you need some quiet time okay i feel like a lot of your anxiety is coming from you not taking the time to rest 
to heal, to focus on yourself. The focus should not be outside of you. It should be internal, not external. Does that make sense? So spirit is guiding you to do some meditation, you know, maybe start reading um, books on alchemy, read some books on like transformation of energy. I don't know why this is important for you guys to know, but I feel that the way you guys are shifting the next month or so, you're going to need a different mindset, a different perspective in order to really catch up with all the, the changes that are happening. You are going to make some really awesome um, movements for the better. I do see a lot of spiritual wealth and material wealth. So maybe some of you guys are wanting to become teachers or there's an energy here about being a high priestess or a high priest. Maybe you guys are trying to kind of um, level up into a, some kind of spiritual teacher or something of that nature. But I feel like right now you're not giving yourself the time to really study, to really focus, okay? So giving, your, your, uh, giving yourself a break from family and heavy energy is really, really going to help you right now. So let's move into your love life. I'm hearing a song by Cisco. How deep is your love? Mm -hmm. Is it is that what it's called? I don't know. You guys can correct me. You know how I am with songs. I can't ever remember. Um, how deep is your love? I'm hearing how deep is your love. I don't know if that's it's a song by Cisco. You guys, Cisco. That's back in the you know the '90s. Um, please let me know if you guys know what that song is called. Is it uh, How Deep Is Your Love? I know there's a Calvin Harris song, but anyway, I, I keep hearing that. How Deep Is Your Love? So some of you guys may be going into an extreme with someone that you really care about, that you really love. There's a sense of desperation of wanting to keep your relationship is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I feel like that, but I feel like some of you guys are either dealing with another air sign, another Libra, Aquarius Gemini, who's being very obsessive and almost like controlling with you. And they're like, it's like this relationship needs to change. It needs to shift. Something needs to die and have a reaper. But it's like they're obsessing over you and it's getting really intense, okay? Or this is how you feel about someone that you're dating. And I feel like you're, you're kind of Feeling like you're going to lose them November 1st through the 15th is what I'm getting. And there's like an anxiety around losing them, okay? Like you don't want to lose this person. So you're doing everything you can to keep them is what I'm getting. Some of you guys are trying to focus on work. And maybe you're, you're drinking a little too much. You're drinking excessively because... Um, you, yeah, you're healing from a separation from another, uh, like I said, remember intuitively I said another Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like some of you guys have been emotionally imbalanced with this person, like sun, moon, rising. You're trying to keep this person at all costs. And it's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of creating blockages in communication because you're forcing energy that doesn't need to be forced, you know. Energy is about the proper way of manipulating energy. I'm not talking about people and I'm not talking about emotions. I'm talking about energy. The more you force or the more you want something that isn't quite right for you yet, the universe will dangle it and be like further, further, further. So that's what's happening right now. The universe is playing with your emotions because you guys are so obsessive about whoever this is. Um, and I feel like this person drinks a lot. I feel like either both of you have a heavy drinking problem or your person is a heavy drinker. And this person is struggling with even making it to work, you guys. So I don't know if you know that, but your person is going through a deep depression right now. This person is not in a good place to love you. They can't love you the way you want them to love you because they're going through their own downfall right now. They're really depressed. I'm picking up on their energy. This person drinks in their truck. They sit in their truck and they chug beers and they, they listen to sad music. I mean, this person is going through something very heavy. Could be an air sign or a water sign, okay? So the more you push, 
the more you push them away because this person is not ready for you right now, okay? So love and Libra. So Libra love, first through the 15th. What's coming your way? What's coming your way? Some of you guys are purposely getting pregnant by this person. This is for who it's for. It's like you're purposely setting it up to get pregnant. Listen, <laughs> this might not be for all my Libras, babes, but um, I don't think you want to do that, okay? A pregnancy is not going to improve this situation. You getting pregnant by this person and be like, surprise, I'm pregnant, and they're not your boyfriend or girlfriend yet or whatever, you know, whatever, however you want to, you know, switch, this, switch the situation up. It's not going to help the situation. This person is going to put you on the back burner. Some of you guys are just finding out that you're pregnant in general. And this is going to come as a shock. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you guys are, are like your life is changing with this pregnancy. You didn't think you're some of you didn't even ever think you were going to be a mother. And you're like, oh, shit, it's happening. Right. Um, this is going to change your life. For some of you, this is going to change your life for the better. This was a faded kind of energy but for others if you're purposely trying to get pregnant here to keep somebody nine times out of ten you know how that goes right okay i just have to say that so libra love what's coming in yeah there's like an obsession here with someone okay there is an obsession here with someone so you guys can let me know who you're obsessing over there's a lot of there's a lot of children energy here involved, like children or childish behavior. So someone here is stalking you on social media, watching what you're doing. They're very curious to see. Um, I feel like there's a no contact energy with whoever that is, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, a younger energy. You have an offer coming in, okay? You do have a small offer coming in in a form of a love letter, a, a message, a sweet little gesture of love. It's going to be very small, but you're having a hard time moving away from the past. Some of you guys, I'm hearing miscarriage, so be careful if, I don't know, okay? I don't know. I'm getting a lot of pregnancy vibes here. Please confirm. Um, I'm hearing miscarriage here. Like you're not there something. There's something about fertility here for you guys. Okay. Um, you're having issues. There's a lot of womb, um, womb trauma is what I'm hearing. So there is a, for some of you, you are already in an established marriage or commitment and you want out of it or you were, you're trying to sign the, the, you know, divorce papers. You're trying to break free from it. You're kind of, you know, fearful about really going through with it because of the money. Some of you guys may lose a lot of money because of this. Uh, Libras, my Libra fellas, be, be prepared to get hit with, hey, I'm pregnant with your baby. From a Taurus, Libra, Virgo, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay? So, I'm just saying... There's a lot of that going on here. Uh, yeah, I feel like the overall energy for you guys in love is about really bringing your emotions into balance because some of you guys really want something and you're trying to manifest it, but it's not getting off the ground because you're forcing it. So don't force something that isn't meant for you, okay? I do feel there is a Capricorn here, strong Capricorn energy that's coming through. I feel like there's going to be uh, talks of merging a business together, so that's really good. Um, and I feel like this could be an overall earth sign. There is talks of like merging businesses, merging financial accounts, okay? Um, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So there is going to be a lot of energy of you having to resist temptation is what I'm hearing. You guys are being tempted by a lot of people, okay? I'm just going to give you a heads up. Fire sign, water sign, strong air energy. There's a strong temptation here surrounding you. And I feel like you're just trying to focus on your work. Like you're trying to look away from the primal energies. You're trying to control your lust. You're trying to control the fact that you're trying to like 
remove yourself from messy energy, but it keeps trying to like find you is what I'm getting. So be aware of that. Okay. All right. Mwah. Thanks so much, my loves. Talk soon.